Um, it's been a while. Uh, well, the last video I put up was about this book, getting this board, I think probably at the start of the year now, um, which is a, my WWF, or as it's written on here, uh, WF Superstars, Tech by Technos. Uh, it's a Jammer Arcade board, a two layer one. Um, hey, Hughie, there's my little apprentice dog. Um, and I bought it to try fixing it basically. Um, I have another video about it, <coughs> excuse me, um, which shows the sound not working. And this is the sound area here. And in that video, um, I'd found that this cap here was broken. Let's see if I get it to focus. I'm going to focus. There you, go. you can see the legs broken off. So that was already broken. And then I found this one, which is probably unrelated, but that was broken as well. Um, both of these are uh, 100, let me see. I think they're 100 UF 16 volt. Yep, that's right. So both that one and this one are the same. So I've been through my some of my capacitor pots and luckily I've managed to find two um, that are the right spec. Uh, yep, there we go. So I'm going to have a go at replacing these and um, seeing if it improves the sound at all. So I've got myself my little table set up. Um, soldering iron, snips if I need them, um, screwdriver to undo the screws here, which I've already done, um, some cleaning wipes, some digestive biscuits, and some YouTube to watch as I do it. So I'll see, I'll desolder these, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Cheers. Um, Catch you a bit. As you can see, I've opened up the, uh, the game, and I've just desoldered this little beggar and um, soldered in a nice new uh, capacitor there. There we go, hopefully that's fixing. Nice and solid. So I put that sucker in. So the next one to get is down here. I'm going to desolder that and swap in with a nice new juicy cap. Right. Uh, yeah. You see, I'm going to need to clean it a little bit. Oh, I did notice there's been a repair done here. Something's been jumped there. But we'll see if these caps do anything first and brush down some of this dust, I reckon. Try not to uh, get my dust allergy going. Cool, catching a little bit. So as you can see, I've got the game all back together. Um, nice new caps on there. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. I'm causing a shadow. My trusty super gun. Put up the TV and the controller. I won't subject you to it. Turned it back on and it's still got the weird whoosh roar sound when the crowd cheers. So um, what I'm going to do now is I've done one already just to check. Is I've unseated this first IC. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. Um, let's see if I get it under the light. Sorry, this phone's not very good at focusing on what I want it to focus on. Let's see. There. There's a lot of corrosion on the legs. So what I'm going to do is I've got some really super smooth and fine sandpaper I used to, I used to use for finishing up um, my models I used to make, like sculpting designer toys and that. Get a super smooth finish. So I'm going to run that along here, so it's going to be very gentle to take off this corrosion. And I'm going to work my way along each of these ICs and see if I need to clean all those up, and then we'll see how we go from there. Okay, catch yeah. another one. So I've cleaned um, all these ICs, and they were pretty grim. You see my uh, sandpaper here taking the rust off and the gunk, but unfortunately you'll be able to hear, here it comes, the roar, turn it 
down a smidge, put a credit in, and you can still hear it, and it's going to come on again in a sec when the match starts. Pitch is perfect, absolutely perfect. Just here we go, the motorbike revving up. I guess it's the crowd, it must be something up with the, whatever's controlling the crowd sound effects. Um, so basically, you hear, gosh, it's getting so good. And now it's gone. So, um, <laughs> Turn this down. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to keep keep looking. I think to see uh, to what else can be going on. I'm really hoping that it is just some dodgy connection, or. Something that I can replace seems I don't have a burner for um, reprogramming the chips, so we'll just have to see how far we get. But I think for today, that that'll be as far as I'm getting. I'll play a bit of The Last of Us instead, which I got yesterday. So um, yeah, cheers for watching the video, and hopefully I'll get another chance to. Do some more work on this. All right. Any ideas or suggestions? If you can uh, come up with anything, please leave me a comment or a message or whatever, and that will probably help me out loads. Since I'm just figuring out as I go. Cool. Catch you later. Bye. Minute update. Um, I've just been playing this, and oh, there's no sound on the attract. Um, <clears throat> I was just started feeling around the board around the sound area, just press on chips and stuff, see if anything would change. And when I put my finger around this area, this chip in particular, um, this, the um, roaring would stop. Here we go, so it's starting to come. Hear that? So not around here. But here, so much, so, so much to do with this chip, or whatever's leading to here. Woo. So there's something up around this area, which is very promising. Hopefully, I have no idea what that chip is. But we will have a look. Um, maybe anybody knows. I think it's not going to be a custom chip. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. It is a Oki M629591009. So I'll have to have a look around this area. Look at that, that's definitely the problem. This this bit here. Maybe it's dry solder joints or something. So I'll let you know how it goes.